The Selfish Path to Romance. Download Chapter 1 for free at drkenner.com and at amazon.com. Fred, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. Tell me, what's your question? Oh, I was wondering, uh, what is the difference, or how can you tell the difference between depression and manic depressive? Okay, manic depression is now called bipolar, Mm -hmm. and the two poles mean that you swing from, guess what, feeling really depressed to feeling what? Manic. To feeling manic, to feeling like you just are, your mood is just super energized, and it may be real irritable, or it may be just feeling on top of the world. But the key to manic, because it's wonderful to feel on top of the world, isn't it? Yes. The key to it is that it's not reality-based, that you're feeling great, you're feeling like you own the world, you're making decisions that are entirely irrational. They don't make sense. You may have sexual indiscretions. You may be going on buying sprees. You may be driving like crazy down a back road. You may be saying things, losing it and saying things to people that are crazy in your in your regular state of mind you would never say such things so tell me what what um do you know someone who's who you suspect is manic or is it yourself uh it's myself yeah what have you noticed um it seems uh most of the time it seems like i'm in a uh depressive state but every now and then every once in a while i'll i'll feel on top of things Okay, when you're on top of things, can you tell me the craziest thing you did when you were on top of things, if you did indeed do something crazy? Oh, I I would talk brashly to people and be real, um, I guess, direct and more, um, I wouldn't say things that I would normally... Okay, I don't know whether you're just being more honest, though. I mean, sometimes we repress so much, and then finally you just let go, and you tell people what you're really thinking, and mm-hmm. there's actually more integrity and more honesty there, even if you don't say it tactfully. I mean, it's wonderful if you know assertiveness skills, but short of that, at least you let go. Who? What did you say to whom? Oh, I would say, like, uh, somebody had borrowed my car, and... and um and they didn't seem like they wanted to return it, and so I just confronted them about it, you know, and it uh, ended our friendship. You, well, it sounded like you made a very good decision. I'm glad the friendship ended. Why? <laughs> if someone bar- why why are you laughing? Oh, well, um, it it makes me feel good to to know that 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 was a good thing that I did. If someone borrowed my car and they weren't profusely thankful that I lent them a car Uh and they didn't fill it up with gas and maybe wash the car when they returned it, Uh you know, assuming it isn't my sister or someone else, I would do that for someone else. I would fill up the car and I would wash it if they were that generous. If a person is does does not do that, then they are not a friend worthy of having. They're, They're going to be users. They would use you. So you had the guts to stand up for yourself? Yes, I did, and then it kind of threw me into a depression, to tell you the truth. Because you're not used to doing that? Because I'm not used to doing that, and I'm not used to standing up for myself. Oh, how did you learn not to stand up for yourself? I don't know. I yeah? I kind of, um, I figured, yeah, kind of... Not when did wanting. you learn to be polite and, not, and bite your tongue and not say what you really feel and stuff it all? your head feels like it's going to explode. Yeah, I want I don't want to offend people and I just kind of kind of stuff it, you know. Okay, that you don't want to do that to yourself. You want to learn what is called uh, uh well, a body of skills that are called commu- um assertiveness skills. Mhm. And you can learn them many different ways. Um you need to there are Basically, if you think of the old type phones, you have a mouthpiece and you have a receiver, right? Right. You need to know how, with communication skills, you need both ends. You need to know how to listen actively Mm -hmm. and get the person's full context and then how to ask questions and then how to say precisely what you mean with laser accuracy 
without attacking the other person, but without biting your own tongue. And there is a way to do that. It's called... Hey, I got to interrupt this because we've got to pay some bills. 30 seconds, that's it. A very quick ad, and then Alan will be back. Romance. Ugh, I wish guys knew more about what we want from a relationship. (laughs) Boy, I wish I knew more about what I want. Where's that ad I saw? Ah, here it is. The Selfish Path to Romance. A serious romance guidebook. Download Chapter 1 for free at SelfishRomance.com and buy it at Amazon.com. Hmm, the selfish path to romance. That is interesting. And there is a way to do that. It's called the pronoun I language as opposed to finger pointing language. You did this, you did that. You can learn those skills. There are workbooks. You can go to my website, DrKenner.com. Mm-hmm. And I know there's a book... Um, trying to think of what I've got. I know there are assertiveness books. I don't think I have them up on the website. I've given many courses in it, but that's not there. I think the book Couples Skills is there, which even though it's talking about couples will give you skills. This The book that I have recommended many times is actually a parenting book. It teaches parenting. It teaches you all of these skills, but with pint-sized kids. But they're the same communication skills that you would use with an adult. There's this book called How to Talk So Kids Will Listen and Listen So Kids Will Talk. That's the name of the book? Yes, that's at my website, drkenner.com. And that book teaches you all of the assertiveness skills you'd ever need. If I were reading that book, it could be how to talk so my husband will listen and listen so my husband will talk, or how my mother will listen and listen. It it teaches you beautiful communication skills because it's simple. It teaches it with comic strips and vibrant examples, very relatable examples. So I highly encourage um, you to get that book. And even though you're not dealing with pint-sized kids, that will that's an easy way to get the the uh the skills there's also a book messages by mckay and some other authors again that one's not on my website either but that's that's a decent book so here's what i recommend if you think that you're bipolar i think you're doing yourself a disservice if all you're talking about is that you're repressed meaning you've learned how to bite your tongue because you don't want to offend other people Mm mm-hmm you're offending one person when you try not to offend anybody else. Who is that? Myself. You bet. And you need to be your own best friend. You need to learn the skills. Give your, you know, we learn math. We learn about Attila the Hun. We learn about history in grade school or, jun- or middle school or high school. But we don't learn assertiveness skills. Learn those skills. If you may browse the bookstores yourself and find some that teach assertiveness skills. That's what they're called. And then you'll be able to speak up. Um, So I would not get trapped in thinking that you have some heavy diagnosis and that you need the medication because if that's all you did, then that's wonderful. I think that success is like breaking through a barrier for yourself. If there's more to it that you haven't shared with me, for example, if you're speeding down the road 150 miles an hour on a 30 mile an hour road, you know, during a manic episode, then that's different. I'm assuming that's not the case. No, that that's not the case. Okay, then I congratulate yourself for standing up to this alleged friend. Find better friends. Okay. And thank you so much for your call, Fred. You're I'm, welcome. Thank I'm, you. You're welcome. For more Dr. Kenner podcast, go to drkenner.com and please listen to this ad. Here's an excerpt from The Selfish Path to Romance by clinical psychologist Dr. Ellen Kenner. Love is an emotion, and all emotions have consciously identifiable causes, but certain factors make the causes of emotions, such as love, joy, and sadness, especially difficult to identify. Emotions occur automatically and instantly, based on how we appraise people or situations. Emotions don't develop in slow motion. You catch your boyfriend in bed with your best friend, and you are instantly flooded with anger. You reunite with your husband after he's returned from his military tour of duty and you immediately feel overjoyed. The appraisals causing our emotions are not only automatic but also subconscious, outside of our immediate awareness. You feel irritated with your wife but may not be able to easily put into words what's specifically causing your irritation. You can download Chapter 1 for free at drkenner.com and you can buy the book at amazon.com.